for you is to have fun. You guys have all excelled at the sport of hockey, right? How many of you rode before? Nobody. All right, so we're going to put you in a brand new environment, new terminology, new skills. We're going to ask you to learn in about an hour, and then we're going to give you a chance to compete against each other because we figure you're competitive guys. Hockey's an Olympic sport, rowing's an Olympic sport, and it's intense anaerobic activity. It requires balance, flexibility, strength, coordination, timing, and most importantly, teamwork. Because unlike hockey, where you each have a different assigned role doing different things, in rowing, it's all about doing the same thing at the same time. <laughs> I'm ready. Okay, when you're ready. Three. Say three. Four. One, two, three. Oh, okay. So you have to lean away so that you're. All right. Whatever. We got it. <laughs> Whatever. Watch out for the double boat. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start out building the stroke. Now here's the key. You have to follow stroke seat in the eight seat position. You're setting the tone for everybody behind you. The goal for everybody behind you is to actually follow and to match your motions. Okay. Back you call on it. Now stroke seat. On the pull through, you might want to pull just a little bit higher because we want to get the blade buried. Way not. That means go ahead and stop. Feather it out. I want to re-emphasize, the more you keep your head up and your eyes up, the more your timing is your timing is much better as a boat. When you see the flag begins to move, you may row. Square and buried, gentlemen. Square and buried. Five. Bury them, gentlemen. Bury them. Bury them. and the boat speed goes down. Keep it together. You guys see how much better you are when you row together. Attention all, make sure they're buried. Make sure they're buried. Attention all. Row. All right, together, guys. Together, together. <laughs> nice job, fellas. Nice job. Oh. All right, we're gonna take him in now, so just kind of get in line. Welcome to Jackets TV, presented by Ohio Health in the 2014 Columbus Blue Jackets three-on-three -three tournament. I'm Jeff Rimmer along with Bill Davich and Bill this has been an exciting week. We are seeing the Blue Jackets of the future and uh, boy there's been no disappointments. There really hasn't you know uh, Jeff when you go back to uh, day one they come in and the reason they're here is development. 
and it's just not hockey. It is a little bit of everything. So these 18-year-old kids and some of those, you know, that were back in the 91-92 uh, birthdates, they come in, they learn a little bit more of what it's going to be like to be a pro, and then to watch them on the ice today to finish it off in three-on-three three should be a lot of fun. Well, we're underway. Team Light Blue against Team White, and we get a look at uh, young Mulatto here, who's really a young man that loves the game, and it takes very little time before we have the first goal. Seconds in here. And uh, we're back at center for a face-off in Young Dano, who was the third of the three first-round picks two years ago by the Jackets. So here we go. There is a shootout here now, too. Alexander Wenberg. Oh, <laughs> that's uh, scary good. That is sick. No, that, that is, look at the hands again. The illusion, he's above the top of the puck, gives the illusion that he could go either way, freezes the goaltender, and then one quick move to the back end. Wow. Is it too much to even suggest that uh, Alexander Winberg might very well be a Columbus Blue Jacket come opening night against the New York Rangers? The key with a, a guy like that, they want to make sure that he's going to be playing, if he can, in the top three lines. It's over, Team Blue. Team Blue wow. Hey, Thank Billy, you. great job. This was a lot of fun, and I know the fans certainly enjoyed it as well. Uh, oh, good. Good to be part Thanks. of it. Great job, bud. See you, man. Can't wait for next year.